Hello friends, welcome to this course on NX. In this lecture, we will continue with sketch modeling and we will know about next command in sketches that is circle tool. So first of all, go to the sketch mode. So click on the sketch, select a plane and click OK. After that, go to the circle tool from here, click on the circle. Inside the circle, we have two options circle by center and circle by three points. Again we have two options of input coordinate system and parameter mode. So first I am selecting this circle by center and diameter. So here we just need to select the center point of the circle. Click for the center of the circle. Click here existing point and drag the mouse. When I drag the mouse we can see the value of diameter is highlighting. So let's say I insert the value of diameter that is 50. 50 and press enter. Press escape. Once again press escape. So in this way we can see we have created this circle. So once again I will create one more circle. Click here for the first point and then click here somewhere outside. Press escape and then go to this more option and then click on this display sketch auto dimensions. So auto dimensions are on. Now zoom in onto the circle. Onto the circle we can see this dimension is highlighting. Double click on this. So double click on this dimension. Now inside this dimension we can specify a circle by any of the one dimension. We can define a circle by its diameter or its radius. So let's say this time I am defining the circle with the radius. So select the radial option and then insert the value of the radius. So let's say once again the radius is 50 and press enter. Click close. So diameter of the circle is always double of the radius. So here we can see a bigger circle has been created. Now go to the circle tool once again. Go to circle. Here we can see one more type of circle that is three point circle. Now to draw this type of circle we need three reference point. So before going into the circle tool go to the line option and let's say I draw a series of lines. So click for the first point like this second point. Now once again select this point and then drag the mouse. So basically I am going to make a triangle. Select this point up to this point. Then press escape. So I am not going to define any dimensions here. I am taking all the default values. And then go to the circle option. Now inside the circle select three point circle. Now we need to select three reference point. This point is my first point and this is second point and this is the third point. Click for the end point. I zoom in here, press escape and here we can see we have created a circle that is passing through three reference point. So after creating the circle we will learn how to draw the arcs. So click on the arc option. So we have two types of arc, arc by three point and arc by center and end point. So click for the arc by three point. Now we can define the arc by using the three points. So go to some empty space. Click for the first point, drag the mouse and click for the second point. And drag the mouse and we can see the preview of an arc. So arc is basically a small section of a circle. So once again we can specify the dimension of arc using the radius value. So let's say the radius of this arc is 100 and press enter. So in this way we have created this arc. Now second type of arc we have is using the center and end points. So here we can see in this arc we have specified three points. This is my first point, this is second point and third point is the radius of the arc. 
and here we can see this dot is highlighting the center of the arc just like we have center of the circle. So here in this option we can specify using the center and the end points. So click for this arc and then my first point will be the center of the arc. Drag the mouse, select the first end point and drag the mouse select the second end point. And then we can specify the dimensions. So double click on this radius value and insert the value of radius here. Let's say this is 100, press enter and close. Zoom out. So in this way we can create circle and arcs in NX.